Hello and welcome to the old golden black for this update and the first video in a long time. Uh, first of all, I just want to make you all aware of my Wolves Wednesdays, which are going to start from tomorrow onwards, every Wednesday, obviously. Uh, and they're going to be a live stream from nine o'clock every Wednesday for about an hour or so. Uh, so if you can come on and ask any questions you like and perhaps as the season goes on, I'll try and get some guests on and things like that. But at the moment uh, and during the pre-season period, it'll just be me. Um, I know that next week there's some games on as well, so I'll be able to talk about those in a little bit more detail. Uh, but yeah, make sure you check it out that nine o'clock tomorrow evening. But yeah, the discussion point today is uh, have Wolves made enough signings or have Wolves made enough impact into the transfer window and at the moment it doesn't seem as if that's the case and there's a few people on Twitter who are worried, genuinely worried about whether we've got enough to stay in the Premier League with what we've got at the moment um, and with the players that we've been linked to now after the World Cup, is that going to be enough as well? Uh, so that's what we're going to have a look at, at today. So Wolves' highest profile signing of the summer so far is Rui Patricio who's Checked into training yesterday, having had a little bit of an extended break after the World Cup. Uh, he's without doubt the biggest signing Wolves have made for a number of years, probably since signing Andy Gray for a British transfer record. You know, we're looking that long ago now. Um, we've also signed, signed Raul Jimenez, who we didn't really see a lot of during the World Cup. Um, he's been a bit of a super sub for Benfica through the last couple of years as well. So he's a little bit of an unknown entity. And a bit of a gamble, I think, in terms of what he can bring to the Premier League. And then, of course, confirming the signings of Jota and Bolly and the dealings with Fobi, which obviously is not a Wolves player anymore, um, and Bonatini. So we've pretty much kept the nucleus or the main, the 1-11 to that we were used to for the whole of last season, that every pundit that watched us said, yeah, this team would be comfortable in the Premier League and would finish mid-table. If you take that and then add a top world-class goalkeeper to that. Um, and then if you, I think what we probably need is another centre midfielder. But if you think about the the consistency that Wolves want in at the club, uh, that's, that's what they've got. They've got the same 11 players that played all last season together and played so well and grew as a team together. They talked about the pre-season now that they're not doing things for the first time like they were last year they've come in and they've they've restarted they know the the regimes and they know the drills and stuff like that and it was clear to see i think from the games against um basel and the young boys last week that obviously they just hit the ground running now i know the pre-season's not a lot you can't read a lot into it and we might have a great season pre-season and then fall short come the everton game but with the way that things went last season and with the way that we've started pre-season now it's going to be very interesting to see if we do actually add that many players I did speak on Talking Wolves a few weeks ago about I thought Wolves would spend up to 80 or 90 million pounds were in this transfer window I think that's still possible I think Wolves could sign somebody like Andre Silva I think that's still a potential signing um and that he would cost 30 to 40 million. If you add that to the 30 million that we've already spent on Bolly, Jota, etc., then that takes the spending up to nearly 80 million pounds. So it's a very, very interesting time. And I think in the next week or so, we will see another couple of deals done. I've seen from various people on Molyneux Mix and things like that that there are upwards of six deals in place to just to just tick off or to do medicals and various things. Jean Mario apparently has done a med medical now at Wolves for a loan deal. But there's not been a lot of confirmation from high-profile reporters like well, a couple of weeks ago there was the Zinchenko rumours which I brought to you. Uh, but there's not been anything solid for quite a while now, um, which I think is what's worrying Wolves fans. I think this time last summer... We had an awful lot of rumours being banded around. And if you think about our dealings as well, there wasn't really a lot done until this point. Ruben Neves was signed on about the 8th or the 9th of July. And then Bolly and Jota and Bonatini all followed in the weeks leading up to the start of the season. So there's still plenty of time to get those players in and to get them bedded in. I know that the transfer window ends earlier this season, but I think there's definitely the chance that there'll be 
a number of signings in the next couple of weeks. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. I Would you be happy if the transfer window ended today? Would you be happy with the team that Wolves got? And do you think, do you think we could stay up in the Premier League with the squad that we've currently got? Don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's been a long time since I've done a video. Uh, I think there's been a number of things which perhaps I'll go into a little bit more detail in, in a couple of weeks. But there's a few more days left of the school year and then well, six weeks off. So there'll be all sorts of videos in that time. Uh, but I am going to be a little bit busy outside of YouTube as well. So hopefully I'll be able to bring you a little bit of that as well. Thank you. I'll see you. Bye.